Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James and welcome to this very short little video taking a look at the changes that the new version of Unity will have an effect on in our little tutorial series here. So Unity 5 was released just this week and it's the latest version of Unity and there's some pretty cool things in it. There's some interesting stuff that we're going to take a look at further down the line in the series. But for the moment, unfortunately, it's broken some very kind of very small little things that are very easy to fix. So no matter where you are in the series, if you're back before this happened after episode 9 was released, so if you're before that series, before that episode in the series, there's just a couple of little things to be aware of uh, that you'll need to pay attention to during the series. Uh, so one of the first things is, um, if we hit play here, uh, once it starts running, we'll see that, oh no, our player is slowly floating into the sky and our enemy is just kind of hovering there. That's obviously not what we want. So what is causing that is, on our player here, the in the animator there's this thing here called apply root motion we want to turn that off and in the older versions of unity that's put on by default and basically what it is is it makes the an the movement come from any animations that you have going and we don't have any animations doing stuff like that so we want to turn that off uh, and then once we do that and do the exact same for our enemy as well and we hit play and then that should be fixed and that's perfectly fine it's all good um and really that's the only like running problem that breaks our game everything else is perfectly fine and works all good there's just a couple of differences in our in our scripts that needs to be looked at but these animators from from now on in, in your if you're working in unity 5 they'll automatically be unticked when you add a new animation or anything to your characters so you don't have to do it every time it's just because you're going from an older version to a newer version sometimes these things can get weird and changed now the only other change that we need to be worried about is in mono develop we look at our player controller script here now um the way we were handling movement before we were saying uh i'll just get rid of this bit and we'll just put that in so we're saying rigid body 2d dot velocity is equal to whatever the thing with unity now is we're no, no longer allowed to just say rigid body 2d and then it knows what we're talking about what we have to do from now on you see what it, when you upgrade it it replaces every, anywhere that you had just rigid body 2d with a get component which means it's looking for the rigid body on the object so what we have to do instead whenever anywhere in the series that we've mentioned looking for the rigid body basically all you have to do is there's a couple of things you have to add in so we'll add an extra thing up here a not even not even public we'll do a private um rigid body 2d and we'll call this we'll just call it my rigid body 2d and that's perfect and then in our start function we'll just go my rigid body 2d is equal to get component and then inside these little arrow things we'll go uh, a rigid body 2d like that close them up and there we go so now what that's doing that's finding the rigid body that's attached to whatever this script is attached to because we don't want it to have to find that rigid body every single time it's going along here so rather than having get component rigid body brackets every time which will work perfectly fine and it'll run and everything will be absolutely wonderful but we want to get rid of that so what we'll do instead of where that says get component we'll just delete that and we'll just say my rigid body 2d so I'm just going to do the same. Anywhere I see that get component rigid body, we'll just pop that in there. And we'll just pop it in here. So the same in the earlier versions of, in the earlier in the tutorial, we would have just said rigid body 2D dot velocity dot Y. So we can't do that now. So we have to add this little thing back up here of looking for the component earlier on. And then we always say, just say my rigid body. My rigid body is nice and handy to remember. Um, so same again in here. Do that one and we'll do that one and there's one down here too and this will only affect like a couple of scripts not not even too much oh there's an extra bracket there we don't want that now we'll save that we'll go back into our game and it's a very small change and it's actually a bit more of efficient change because the old way it will in in the older version of unity it was always finding the rigid body which is a little bit extra hit on performance. It's not too bad, but 
this way it's actually a better way of performing so once you get used to this way of doing it it's perfectly fine and you only have to get it the very first time you create your script you just have to remember to look for the rigid body at the very start if you're going to be using your rigid body and then use that throughout the script then and it's quite handy because now look i can still kill that guy and it's perfect and if you haven't reached this far in the series yet this is a little preview of where you're going to get to as you go further along look at all these coins and all these amazing things so yes thank you for watching we will continue with the series very very soon and more stuff will be coming in unity 5